Hello! So this is going to be a short tutorial, uh, the first of perhaps many, um, but today I'll be showing you how to make perfectly symmetrical eyes using the reflect tools in Live 2D. This will save you a lot of time because you will literally only have to set up one eye and then you can simply reflect it onto the other side. So here we have an eye and it's already going to be set up for angle X and also the eye open and the eye smile. So three parameters we're going to reflect here. So what we're going to want to do first is create a new folder in our parts list and we're just going to call this eye left. We're going to leave that for a moment because what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our eye parts including the deformers. So we're going to go down here and this is going to include the eye spot on my character here. And we're going to copy this, so Control c select our new folder I left and paste them in there. There we go. So now we'll have an exact copy of our whole eye here. And what we're going to want to do is right click here on the screen. It'll come up with this menu here. And at the bottom here, there's going to be a reflect button. Now it's important we're going to be reflecting it horizontally, so make sure this is ticked. If you reflect vertically, it's going to flip it upside down, so don't do that. And we're going to select all three of these, so angle X, I right open, and I right smile. And that will automatically place it opposite. Now you may also notice that it's in the closed position here, and it's actually going to alternate on the I right open. So what we're going to do is we're going to select everything again. And we're going to need to move the eye right open over to the eye left open, because obviously these are separate eyes. And the eye right smile over to the eye left smile as well. So with our reflective part selected, we're going to click this here and then change. And it'll pop up with this window. We're going to change it over to eye left open. So that's now shifted our parts over to eye left open and we'll do the same for the smile. There we go. So that's all shifted over, but it's still opposite. So what we're going to need to do is select eye left open again. This time we're going to click adjust. So basically we're going to want to flip over these. So this zero is going to be one. One is going to be zero. If you have any middle frames, these will, these will also need to be flipped over. Um, so this is going to be 0.8 and this is going to become 0.5 and then that should work as expected. And then obviously the same for the eye smile. Now you may also notice that the highlights have been flipped over. That's a very simple fix. All we need to do is grab our highlights here and we're just going to reflect those without selecting any parameters. This one doesn't actually have anything linked to it. There we go. So now that will be all working. We've got both eyes here. And they both work for angle X as well. I hope you enjoyed this really quick tutorial. This is a perfect time-saving tool in Live 2D, which I feel like more people should know about. Uh, it seems complicated at first, but it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It's just a few extra steps from copying and pasting. Um, it can also be applied to other things, such as I could use it for my ears here, once I've set those up. Or I've even used it for legs on characters. For example, if I wanted to do a step left, step right, then you can reflect that as well. But I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed it.